Hi everyone, my name's Lucy and I've been a member of TAC for many years now. I, I joined when I was in primary school and I've been lucky enough to grow up through the ranks um, right through to senior level and be guided by the coaches at Tunbridge for, for many, many years. I am coached by Richard Owen specifically and we've been working together for, for a long time now. Um, and that includes when I went off to uni in 2011 and, and since then, since graduation, relocating to London and I've lived here, uh, I guess, five or six years now. So definitely have more of a long distance relationship with the club these days, but still loving, love coming back uh, for, occasion, for occasions when I can come down to training and also seeing everyone at races when we're allowed to. Um, just to touch on a couple of career highlights, I was going to make the point that I'm definitely a stronger runner as a senior than I ever was as a junior. Um, I guess the, the highlights for me have been getting to run for England on a few occasions in the last two years or so, uh, so twice on the road and, and once on the country. Definitely been kind of the pinnacle of my running career, career to date. Uh, and also a couple of team gold medals with the senior women's team at the national level. So Mansfield cross country relays 2018 and the road relays in 2019, I think it was. So yeah, some real highlights for me there. There are two questions I was going to touch on. So thanks to everyone who sent questions over. Um, the first one was about how far you should be running as an under 20. Um, Nicole already covered a lot of great, great points on this, but just some things I'd add. Yeah, definitely worth having this conversation with the coaches at Tunbridge. They're, they're much more uh, qualified to, to guide you than I am. I would definitely say it's a two-way process, so kind of uh, athlete has input as well as coach. And the other thing I wanted to say is that I would try to move away from the mindset of thinking about total mileage as the target or goal and think about the mileage that you end up running as more of an output of the, of the sessions that you do and kind of the plan is to run the right sessions and run the right runs. Um, and mileage is just an output of that. And saying, you know, I wanna run 50K a week isn't as helpful as saying kind of how you'll run those 50K. Um, so that's kind of a mindset shift I would maybe suggest making. If, although with Strava and, and everything where you're tracking kind of your weekly numbers, it can be really easy to, to fall into that mindset. Um, the other thing, the other question I was gonna answer was preparation for a race in the final 30 minutes. Um, some things I'd say are, it's uh, it's it's really difficult to do, but I, I would try not to get too wedded to a specific routine because then if something goes wrong on the day, you know, that's out of your control, then you don't want to be thrown off by not having done like every specific stretch you wanted to do or like having too much of a kind of stringent routine that you rely on. Um, but for me, there's some non-negotiables in that kind of final 30 minutes that I, that I do uh, always try and do. So... One of which is just spending some time, even if it's only a couple of minutes, five minutes, just trying to really focus on the race and the event that you're about to do. Um, for me, that's putting in my headphones and, and making sure that at least part of my warm up is kind of on my own. I have my own space um, and I have a playlist that I like to listen to, which is probably very embarrassing, but just songs that help me kind of really focus. Um, and that sort of helps me put to, sa put to one side the stresses of, you know, whether it's work or studying or whatever else is on your mind and just be really focused. And then the other thing I try and do is always make sure I know where the halfway point and the two thirds point of the race is. Obviously, if it's a track, that's relatively easy to do. But cross country, I always try and make sure I have checked where those points are. Um, for me, they're two really important mental points in every race. I love knowing that I'm over halfway done and kind of the uh, you've, you've done the bulk of the hard, hard work. And then on the two thirds point, um, Rich always says to us kind of as a as a guiding principle to run the first two thirds with your head and your and the final third with your heart and that for me has always been a really really good guide to how to approach racing from a tactical perspective um, and make sure you are in control of yourself for the first two thirds and then kind of give it your all in the last chunk so yeah those are two things that I mentioned that I always try and uh, do before before the race kicks off. Thanks, and I hope to meet all of you um, at some point in the near future. Hopefully we can, we can start racing again before too long.